Hi Thinkers, welcome to ThinkX Academy. So today we are going to start a web development course where we are going to create a website which will not be a dummy website. We are actually going to launch it in the, uh, in the global servers. So the idea is that we will use HTML, CSS, JavaScript for the front end and for the back end we will use either PHP or I can even go for Node.js. So in this whole course, we are going to go from the uh, starting from just the beginning and we will see how we can actually create a whole website using all these uh, HTML, CSS and all this. So we will use them and we will create this website. We will add some more UI elements and features. We will make a dynamic website where the things will change without refreshing the page. And if you're looking for, if you're just complete beginner in programming and you want to just uh, make your own website or get started with programming, this course will be really helpful for you. In this tutorial, we are going to start with JavaScript. And from uh, in the next few tutorials, we will discuss some of the uh, important concepts in JavaScript like uh, data types, uh, then object oriented programming, and some uh, document object model and there are various things like how to add some dynamic effects and how to change the text and there are various things that we can do using javascript we will discuss them one by one so let's start with setting up the whole uh, environment and we will see uh, what are the uh, editors that we're going to use so basically i'm going to use visual studio code and I think it's a very efficient IDE or which is basically an editor which helps you and it provides a lot of extensions and things like that. So this Visual Studio Code, you will just have to go on the website and you can download it for, good thing is it is available for Mac OS and Windows and even Linux also. So basically you can do web development irrespective of what operating system you're using it is a very good uh, code editor you just need to download it and run it and after running it uh, you will be able to see something like this this is the starting screen of this whole uh, visual studio code then you will have to go here in the explorer and you can see no folders opened it is saying so first of all we will create a folder in the desktop let's create it in the desktop uh, we will right click and we will go on new and add a folder let's name the folder as thinkx web and now i'm going to select this folder and then it will open this folder in the ide which is visual studio code so we will also uh, let's first uh, install the required extensions that i feel that that are very important for uh, our de development and it will increase the productivity also so the first uh, extension that you should install is the live server and live this is very important because we can launch a development in the local server with live reload feature for static and dynamic pages so basically what you can do is whenever you will save your html or uh, your html files it will automatically refresh uh, the web page and that's how it shows you the live changes that are going to happen so very useful here uh, and basically if you have this live server you do not need to install some uh, xamp server or something like that then uh, the second one is the material icon theme now basically it is just a, a theme where we have some good set of icons just for making our code editor fancier it uh, you can see there is some material themes that you can also find out which makes the ide more interactive and uh, it makes it better so that for prolonged use you will be able to use it without any uh, eyes distraction and things like that it makes coding very easy now you can see this is prettier code formatter it is also very important so what it does is when you will 
save the file it will automatically format the code for you which means that it will automatically add the spaces and tabs wherever needed the last one is the rainbow brackets and this allows this basically provides some rainbow colors for the brackets that we have in that we are going to frequently use in the html these are the some of the important themes and extensions which you can install by going here and you can even search the, these in the marketplace just type the name live server and it will show you the the extension here after installing all of these we will go on the project which is this folder and go on the new file icon and click here and let's create index.html now index.html is the html file which basically represents our website what our website is going to look like and basically whenever someone will load our website let's say the website name is indexacademy.com so whenever someone will type that url it automatically redirects to this file so it will show the contents that we are going to write in this file the second file that I'm going to add is the JS file or the JavaScript file, which will basically add some uh, JavaScript code for the dynamic functionality, which we will see in this whole tutorial also. So index.html, for that we will have to uh, just uh, press the exclamation mark, which is shift one. So when you will type this, uh, just click tab next and you can see it automatically creates this uh, These all required tags for the basic development it saves a lot of time. You can see it starts with the uh, This tags and these are in enclosed in these arrow keys Which you can see here. So every HTML file starts with exclamation doc type HTML and Then you can see it's another tag which is HTML language equals to en which is english and you can see we have closing tags which is basically which basically closes the tags and you can see a slash which indicates that it is a closing tag then we have the head tags you can see this is the head tag this is the close this is the opening and this is the closing of the head tag Inside this, we have some meta data, which is the car set, the character set, and this is basically for the providing the device width. And the next one is the title, which provides the title of the tab. And here I'm going to write the title as Thinkdex Academy and Learn to Code. All right, so now we have the title. Now inside of the body, we can actually provide some details. Uh, we can write all the elements, like uh, if we want to add some text, we can write text here in the P tag, which is basically paragraph tag. It starts from this P and ends, it has a closing tag also like this. Now, if, if you have created this, now let's try to run this on the live server. For that, you will have to go down and in the bottom, uh, you can see here, in the bottom we have uh, all these options, which is prettier and all these are here. And here you can see the settings for the uh, extensions and all that. So let's go on extensions, live server. And here we have to use the live server. So you can see how you can run the live server is. Uh, you can run live server by going in the uh, status bar to turn the server on and off, right? So I think there is some problem inside my ID. So I will just reload it and I will install it again. Live server. I will enable it again. So now it's enabled. Now here you can see I have an option go live. So we're just going to click on uh, go live 
and now it will start the server at some point and now you can see this is the basically the web browser and it is showing me high thinkers in the screen now what we are going to do is since we are going to make uh, our code we will write our code and at the same time we want to see the output or the website this is how our website is going to be and you can see the title here thingx academy learn to code all the stuff will be able will be visible here so what we are going to do is we are going to actually make it smaller and we will fix it here and then we will resize it a little bit we will make it smaller and similarly we are going to do with this visual code like this and we will then increase the size we will make this explorer a little bit less and so now you can see that if i want to make any changes i uh, let's write here something else let's say welcome to my website and now if i will uh, just press control save i do not need to refresh the web page it will automatically refresh and you'll be able to see these changes that's because of the extension go live right so first of all we are we are not concerned about this html we are first learning javascript so which is the app.js file now we will have to uh, include this app.js file we will have to link this app.js file with the index.html in order to do so we will have to use the script tags in html script tags are used to include the javascript file we will use src equals then we will click on app.js we will press save so now this is the app.js file and it is included inside of the html file now we are going to um, see how what we are going to see data types and a lot of things so we are not going to display them in the index file first we are first just going for the learning purpose we are going to display it in the console so if i will write in the javascript if i will write console.log here i will write hello world right or let's write hello thinkers so now you can see it has already uh, it has already changed now since this is or uh, this will display in the console we will have to activate the console for that you will have to right click on the on your browser page and go to inspect element and here you can see i'm using firefox if you're using google chrome it will also work you will have to go on console and now in the console you can see it is displaying a message hello thinkers so for the learning purpose when we are going to use javascript we are going to write most of the output we are going to display it here and then finally we will be writing some code here we will make some dynamic changes inside of the html so in the next tutorial we will study about data types and variables inside of javascript and we will see how to perform some operations and we will see the output in the console so that's all for this tutorial if you have liked this tutorial make sure to subscribe our channel because you will get notifications also for every video that i will launch in this web development course thanks for watching